Being a steward of the land is all about being responsible, innovative and sustainable. And when a sector like mining can really get to grips with that ethos, it has the potential to not only have a massively positive impact on society, but also contribute in a huge way to net zero. Satala enables everybody to put sustainability at the heart of decision making. Satala does that by working with businesses, with charities, with governments all over the world to try and understand that complex nature of how all of these different interconnected parts come together to say, OK, how do we truly see ourselves and also act as stewards of that land rather than just users of that land? I think Satala brings a lot of energy into the conversation of risk management and uh, without energy it's really important for the um, users of the risk management system to make it successful. So that energy uh, creates an environment of where uh, people want to learn and people want to understand things better. Our future requires huge volumes of diverse minerals and metals to be dug out of the ground. So we need all of these materials. But in order to be able to create a responsible future and the future that we want, we have to be able to mine in a responsible way. Now, if we can do that properly, not only will we provide the materials that we need, but we can also significantly benefit society as well as the environment. A lot of mining companies are starting to take sustainability a lot more seriously and realising that they can't just play lip service to the concepts, that they need to really embed sustainability at the heart of what they do. Sustainability must be integrated within everything that an operation does if it's really going to feed through to decision making and become part of what that company is about. We're just seeing more and more clients coming to us um, looking to embed sustainability at the heart of their organisations, whatever sector they're in. Within Satala, we are lucky enough to be able to have access to land that we can experiment with and we can run tests and trials and pilots to understand how best to look after that land, to optimise it not just for its biodiversity and its carbon sequestration, but also so that society can benefit from that land as well.